proximal biceps tendon rupture. The biceps tendon of the long head arises from the superior labrum at the top of the glenoid. It passes underneath the transverse humeral ligament in a groove between the lesser and the greater tuberosity of the humerus. The biceps tendon inserts into the proximal radius at the radial tuberosity at the elbow. The long head of the biceps tendon takes advantage and inserts proximally. The short head is inserted distally, as you can see here in this diagram. The short head of the biceps arises from the crocoid process. Biceps tendon rupture. The rupture can be proximal or distal. The biceps tendon may rupture at the top of the bicipital groove, or it may rupture at the radial tuberosity in the elbow. So the proximal biceps tendon rupture occurs at the bicipital groove and the muscle moves towards the elbow to create a Popeye muscle. With proximal biceps tendon rupture, there will be minimal loss of function because although the long head of the biceps ruptures, the short head of the biceps will remain attached to the crocoid process. The diagnosis is often obvious for complete ruptures because of the deformity of the arm muscle. You will find a big ball of muscle in the arm, as you can see here in this picture. The papaya muscle is not from eating a lot of spinach. It is due to a biceps tendon tear. What is the treatment of the biceps tendon tear? The rupture may be treated either conservatively or rarely surgically. Non-operative treatment is usually done for the elderly. Most patients will become asymptomatic after four to six weeks. In fact, the majority of patients will experience relief of their shoulder pain after the biceps ruptures. As regard the surgical treatment, reattaching the torn section of the tendon to the bone, tenodesis, usually done in association with other reconstructive surgery, and it is rarely done for cosmesis. In general, proximal biceps tendon rupture is usually a non-surgical situation. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.